Okay then, buddy. So taking a look at these two swings here now, as we're discussing on this left-hand one, part of the reason why your irons are pretty that little bit kind of like flippy, kind of hooky kind of shape shot, or that blocky out to the right, as your club goes back now, you kind of push your arms out and away, I think in a way from your point of view, to just try and keep that club from getting too far whipping inside. Now the key thing with the takeaway and the goal swing is your hands want to be working on the inside, but the club head would stay outside your hands. So if we look at this takeaway now, you see your hands moving kind of out and away from your body, almost creating more space now between hands and your legs there, pushing the club out now on a sort of slightly steeper plane. As you get up here now, you then sort of drop it back underneath. So if you're dropping it back underneath and sort of shallowing out the club, great for it in draw shots from the position you get into, but trying to fade it from that position is going to be very, very difficult because obviously your club is always moving back behind you, coming in from this direction a bit more than ideally you'd want to if you were trying to bit fade. And obviously if you start doing that a little bit too much, Yes, it can be great for the driver. You can send those bombs a long way down the fairway. But with the irons, you might get a bit too much underneath. Drop, kick it, hit it a bit fat, pulley hooky, or block it out to the right. So really got to start working that takeaway now. So rather than the hands kind of working out this way, sensation is your hands are going to work more on the inside as the club stays out. So you can sort of see the mover here now. What I'm doing now when I move this club back is sort of pushing the pad of your left hand down so that club stays outside the hands. And this is obviously a massive exaggeration to get the feeling of you doing that, okay? So you can see as I'm trying to drill this motion of your hands, we sort of put the line of your edge of your trouser leg there, your hands, you can see now moving in towards that. And at this point, that club is nowhere near inside the line. If any other club is even more outside the line, but that's kind of the exaggerated feeling you've got to try to produce. Then when you try and do it again, without my assistance, the arms still went outside of the daylight, the space between there and your hands, we can see they're moving a little bit further away. Not as much, but moving a bit more, partly because you're not really sort of turning much of that right side. So getting those hands to work inwards a bit more, get that club still stay outside the line. That was the better movement there. You can see where you turn your torso. That position there is absolutely spot on, buddy. So we can get yourself into that position consistently. That club can now start working back a bit better. That's, again, a better position with the hands. Club's a little bit outside, but again, for you, not a major problem. As we go back to drilling that as many times as we can, then when we step to the goal, but as we said, we've just got to hit it. Now, obviously, we expect the hands to move away from the body a little bit. And as you'll see in this case, as the club does go back, the hands do start moving away. So daylight is being created again in this position with the hands. So if we sort of see where your hands are there, in terms of how far away they started, they've almost moved quite double but pushing away a bit more than you want so therefore your force going to drop it back in get to a good position coming back in the golf ball here now and a good strike ball starting on target lines it was a much better strike of the golf ball getting slightly steeper as we said with the club shaft but obviously we take a little bit of practice and work with this takeaway and it's just going to be just repetition mate just pushing that pad of the hand down as much as you can get that sensation the club is going back this way to the point where you can't not do it so work on that takeaway get that club setting a little bit better hope we start in those sort of slightly straighter shots rather than those pull hooks and blocks and if you then need to try and fade in the future you'll find it a little bit easier to do so hope that makes sense buddy any questions obviously give me a shout and i will see you again soon but